Hey guys, welcome back. Today I want to take a short break from the Oni videos to talk about a truly horrifying piece of Halo lore. The tale of an extraordinary marine, a reclaimer who almost made it through one of the most hated places in the galaxy, with nothing more than his 8 gauge shotgun and his badass leatherneck resilience. Be sure to stick around to the end of the video where I'm going to be announcing the winner of the iconic throne giveaway, and without any further ado, this is the untold legend of Staff Sergeant Marvin Mabuto. We all know the horrors of the library, unless of course you're like me, a sadistic fucker who actually enjoys it, but realistically it's an aptly named dark, vast, boring, repetitive facility used for storing ancient knowledge, except instead of storing books and ancient tombs, it stores the Flood. As we well know, Chief's time there was not exactly fun to say the least for Chief or the player. Shortly after the Flood were released from Alpha Halo by the Covenant, 343 Guilty Spark teleported Chief to the library in a hurry to fetch the Index, which he was then going to use to defeat the Parasite. But what if I told you that Chief almost wasn't taken to the library? What if I told you that one brave Marine was taken there before Chief? As Chief worked his way through the library, being constantly annoyed by the onslaught of Flood from all directions and also from Guilty Spark repeatedly self-proclaiming himself as a genius, he left a trail of bodies in his wake. The facility was nothing more than metal, empty shells and infected corpses. However, as Chief proceeded deeper into the library, he came across a corpse that stood out from the rest, a human corpse, an uninfected human corpse. Granted, it was defiled far past the point of recognition, but the armour the remains were clad in, along with the hundreds of empty shells surrounding it, signified it was definitely a human. Chief reached down and grabbed the dog tags hidden among the guts, and learned that the body was that of Staff Sergeant Marvin Mobuto. Guilty Spark then chimed in, revealing that this wasn't the first time he'd taken a reclaimer through the library. When the Covenant first released the Flood from containment, Spark needed a reclaimer to get the Index so he could stop them, and he needed one fast. He looked all over the ring before finding a single Marine on the other side of it, split from his squad wandering aimlessly round a foreigner structure. He then teleported this extremely unlucky soldier to the exact same starting location as Chief, with the exact same goal retrieving the index, of course, without actually knowing what it does. Just a word of advice real quick, if you ever get randomly teleported by a floating cocky eyeball, never actually retrieve what it's telling you to retrieve, just trust me, it doesn't tend to end well. However, sadly, Marvin had clearly failed his task. As noted by Guilty Spark, his combat skin proved even less suitable than Chief's at stopping the Flood, which isn't exactly a shock given how many open areas the Combat Evolved Marine Armor has. I mean, it's not too bad when bullets are flying at you, but when an infection form is trying to latch onto your neck, yeah, it's really not that great. That said though, how far Mabuto had made it through the hellhole of a facility actually genuinely shocked Chief. Even with his Spartan augmentations and armor replacements, he was near the end of his endurance, he was getting really tired, and Staff Sergeant Mabuto had managed to get this far with neither of those perks. Before leaving to retrieve the Index, Chief left what remained of Marvin's corpse with some parting words. I didn't know you, Sarge, but I sure as hell wish I had. You must have been one hardcore son of a bitch. Mabuto might have gone down terrified, in one of the vilest ways possible, but having Master Chief call you a hardcore son of a bitch is one hell of a bittersweet end to your life. Rest in peace, Sarge. You sure as hell made it further than most people did. And that is the sad but still very interesting tale of the one Marine that almost single-handedly defeated the Flood. I mean, granted, he would have fired Installation 04, killing everything in the galaxy, but still, he would have made sure the Flood couldn't spread. Man, Spark really was a bastard for hiding that little fact from us. Anyway guys, that does it for today. Thanks a lot for watching. This upcoming weekend, I'm going to be at PAX West in Seattle with a bunch of other Halo YouTubers like Halo Cannon, Late Night Gaming, Actman, Chris Reagan, not a Halo YouTuber, but still, you know, you know. So if you see me there, be sure to say hi. Make sure you also follow me on Twitter to stay up to date with like where I am and what I'm doing and stuff. It's just at Hidden Xperia. Pretty simple. Don't worry, I do have videos scheduled for when I'm away, so content will continue as normal. 
Without any further ado, thank you to all who entered the giveaway for the official Iconic Throne, and I'm happy to announce that the winner is... Florentin. Congratulations, my dude. We'll get in contact with you via the email that you entered with ASAP. And that does it for today. Big thank you to all of my patrons, Arden, Tomahawk, Taylor, Evan, Momo, Shikata, Mjolnir, Matthew, Pierre, Tony, Ben, Jim, Reagan, Quantum, Jack Madden, Eric Brown, Sam Grafton, Bruin98, and Hayden Woods. Thank you so much for the continued support. Thanks again for watching, guys, and I'll catch you in the next one. And also maybe see you at PAX.